Welcome back to the Thai Airways International Jet Ski World Series 2019. We're going to be starting moto number two of the Pro Ski Grand Prix. Getting ready on the starting line. We'll have to see how this race goes. And off they go on the opening lap of moto number two. The race is good to go. And in the lead, Jeremy Perret, who finished sixth in the first moto, now the leader in moto number two. Cale Kramer in second place. Bomer in third place. Matsuras, Dustin Matsuras in fourth place. Rafael Moren in fifth place. Dustin Matsuras in fourth place there. Remember, he took the first place in moto number one. He's way back. We'll have to see what happens to him as the race continues. Fifth place there, Rafael Moren from France. Draft number 44. As we come around the top end of the course, Dustin Matsuris still in fourth place there. Dustin Matsuris in fourth place with Rafael Moren in fifth. Moren taking the inside option of the course. Matsuris on the outside, craft number 50. There you see him. We'll have to see whether or not this is going to pay off for Moren. Who wants to move into fourth place and we're taking Matsuris? Or is Matsuris going to be able to maintain fourth place as they come around the grandstand? There you see them. And Matsuris has maintained his position. And you saw there a moment ago also the white flag. This is the last lap of this moto. Jeremy Perret maintaining his first place spot all the way through. Cale Kramer still in second place on motor number two. Jeremy Perret seems to be having a fairly comfortable race this time around. Cale Kramer trying to put on a bit of pressure but realizing that, well, better safe than sorry. Jeremy Perret there in the lead coming around the last few boys on the left hand side of the course. We'll have to see how this finishes. Dustin Matsuras, of course, way back. Martin Manny, we haven't seen. Jeremy Perret in the lead. Rafael Moren, way back as well. It'll be interesting when we get to the points for moto number two. And who will have a chance? There's a checkered flag at the end of moto number two. Jeremy Perret very happy with his first place in moto number two. It's a new ski and uh, we make a uh, lot of lot of setting and uh, this morning is not good for me. It was not good for me, so I'm not happy to my race. But uh, now I'm okay and uh, I make my best. No, I don't think it's a condition. I think uh, it's only myself because uh, me, I'm not uh, quite on the ski. I'm not uh, easy on the ski. My ski is perfect, condition is perfect. so. I think uh, only me. I would like win for sure. And uh, now I come back in the game. I hope to win too. Let's have a quick look. The results after motor number two. Dustin Matsuris in the lead there with 103 points. Jeremy Bray in second place, placing first in motor number two there with 99 points. Third place, Cole Kramer from the US, 96 points. Fourth place, Rafael Moren with 92 points. and. Theo Bomber and Martin Manny running off five and six there. And we're into the final moto, the Pro Ski Grand Prix. Off we go on the opening lap. Let's see how this turns out. Moto number three, Jeremy Perret, of course, was in first place. Moto number two, 
There's Tyler Matsuris, leader on the inside lane, the brother of Dustin. Where is Dustin in all of this? And of course, Jeremy Perret, where is he? Kale Kramer, leader on the outside lane. Kale Kramer coming in second in the second moto. We're good to go. It's a green flag. Hill Kramer in first place after the opening lap. Tyrone Matsuris in second. Jeremy Perret in third. Dustin Matsuris now in fourth place. A quick look at the points if we were right in memorizing them. If these positions hold, then Kale Kramer is going to win the trophy for this particular category. Tyrone Matsuris, South Africa in second place. He has very little chance of winning a trophy, but Jeremy Pere, if he wants to win it, needs to put on some speed and finish in first place. The same thing, of course, goes for Dustin Matsuris, and we're wondering where he is. There's Gwecki from the U.S. in fifth place, number 17, coming around, muddying up the waters, as it were. And he comes, oh, he takes a flip, comes off his jet ski. That means he's well behind now in the race. No longer maintaining fifth place position. Kweki taking a spill, moving back in the pack. Let's have a quick look and see. There's Raphael Moren in fourth place. Raphael Moren also needs to do a lot of work if he wants to have any chance of anything at all. Dustin Matsura is now there. You see him in fifth place, way back. He's got to overtake everybody if he wants to win the trophy in this category. And coming around the top end of the course there, you see him. First, second, third, and fourth places. Taking the curves, the water a little bit less wavy as it was earlier in the day. There's Rafael Moran in fourth place coming around. Rafael Moran in fourth. Jeremy Pere in third place. Pere still has not gained on anybody. Jeremy Pere in third place, and Moran trying to overtake Pere as they come around the boys there. Moran not overtaking Pere just yet. Both of them switching around a little bit. Jeremy Pere there now being obstructed, and he's not able to keep into third place, giving it up to Rafael Moran, who now moves into third place. Rafael Moran in third, pushing Jeremy Pere into fourth. That pretty much means that Jeremy Pere has very little chance at the trophy in this category. There's Martin Manny in fifth place. Craft number 53. Jeremy Pere dropping back into fourth place. And we'll see who we've got in the lead and second and third places as they come around. There's Cole Kramer, the leader, craft number 202 as he comes around. Cale Kramer in the lead. Riding very well, consistently throughout the races and he takes the checkered flag. Cale Kramer finishing motor number three in first place that with the points he's got make him the champion in this category. There you see him, Kale Kramer, champion. I feel super good. I'm the first American since Chris McClurge to win uh, the Pro Ski uh, Championship. And uh, can't thank my sponsors enough. My mom and dad, uh, Ricky Treviso, Commander Industries, IPD Graphics, Quakey Sense, 
Quarks H2O, Bill Scott's, Cal's Concepts, and uh, everyone else for helping me out, IPD Graphics. I mean, all you guys, you, you rocked it. I couldn't do it without you. Yeah, uh, we've been talking with Park from Thailand. Uh, he wants to get me out there on one of his skis, and uh, I'm pretty excited to do that. I think I will be doing that, and uh, see you guys there. Results after motor number three. There you see him, Cole Kramer. In first place with 156 points, Jeremy Pere coming in second place in France, 142 points. Third place, Raphael Moren with 140 points, while Dustin Matsuras drops back into fourth place with 139 points. Rounding off the top five, Tyron Matsuras in fifth place with 125 points. After round number two, Raphael Moran has garnered 101 points, and Jeremy Pere after the second round, 96. That's only five points behind Raphael Moran. There's still lots of opportunity for Pere to win this. Martin Manny in third place there with 75 points, while fourth, fifth, and sixth is shared between Cole Kramer, Valentin Dardelat, and Quentin Bosch with 60 points each. Let's see what happens in round number three later on this year.